This your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today we're gonna be installing the KW Has Kit on my F90 M5. All right, let's get it. All right, everyone. So one thing you have to do in order to install the KW has kit or any suspension kit on the M5. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the rear of the car. Those are like the rear quarters in the back of the car and then you kind of have to do some work up in this area here to order to get to the suspension, the top of the suspension. Top of the rear suspension sits like right, right behind the like speakers. So it also makes it a little more difficult because I have the rear shade here. So just some components you just got to take off in order to get to access to take it off. All right, so you can see this is the top rear section here that he just removed, got all that. And then you can kind of see up here, you'll need access to all of that. So you can get access to the top of the seat. So something else you do have to do is remove the seat belts. So it's hooked in by an e-torx that's right around here. So you will have to um, remove that as well. Um, but we're almost there. So you remove all that so you can get access to remove the phone because you have to pull the phone back a little bit and then you can get access to the top of the hat of the rear suspension which is going to be kind of way back over here in the corner so a lot of work just to do some suspension work on the m5s Alright everyone, so he actually got the front strut out right here. This is a good look at the front strut, as you guys can see kind of right there. And then this is the KW has sleeve. Um, it's looking really good. The bump stop, which is very important. And that lower part right here, which makes it adjustable with the adjustable clamp at the bottom. So, looking good. This is kind of a good comparison, so you guys can kind of see both of them side by side. And then over here... We have the whole strut tower out, so you got to go up top, remove some stuff, and remove it from underneath there. All right, everyone, so the front cape has kit is installed, as you guys can see right up in there. Looks good. So I went with KW over maybe the dining and some of the other options because, I mean, KW specializes in suspension. And um, I've heard a lot of good things about all the KW products, so... That's kind of the reason why I went with the KWs. Suspension is particularly what KW does. So that's kind of the reason why I went with the Has Kit. All right, everyone. So this is day two. Um, I'm back here at Euro Empire and we are gonna do the alignment today. Um, I always like to drive my cars for just a little bit, get a couple miles on them before I do an alignment. So, as you guys can see right here, we're looking at the front. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. And um, this is about halfway. Um, I am going to have them drop it a little more. I'm going to um, probably max out the front just to see how it looks. I'm always going to adjust it in my garage, but I'm probably going to max out the front um, just to see how it looks. And then the rear actually looks pretty good um you guys looking at it right there and the rear actually looks really good um 
so I'm good with the rear and the rear is about about halfway down and the front is about halfway down as well but you probably need to drop the front a little more aggressive um, so it's kind of the same way on the G80s you probably usually have to max out the front to get the right fitment and then the rear was like max high but I think with the KW fix kit that they released you're probably gonna go around about half too so um, take a step back so that's what the car looks like I like it I will say I'm gonna give you guys a driving impressions too but um first initial impressions of me like pushing the car through corners the car feels so much better KW did an excellent job with this kit the car just feels great through turns um, and it also rides better it rides better than stock I mean I didn't think stock was bad I mean I came from a G80 um, with 30 series tires on 20s so it was I felt everything already so I was kind of used to that um, this car was already more comfortable than my G80 but um, now with the KW suspension this thing rides great like I don't know if you guys really understand like this thing rides really good I was shocked I didn't think it would change the ride quality that much but it did and it changed it for the better this thing rides great but uh, we'll see once we max out the front see how that looks um, I got some spacers coming so this thing's gonna be looking really good really soon all right All right, everyone, so the KW has kit has been installed and I'm just gonna do some driving around and give, give you guys my first impressions of the kit. The car looks great. Now, as y'all saw, I did have to go back in and readjust it. So right now in the front, we're max low in the front and about middle way of the settings that um, KW recommends. So the KW give you, gives you um, millimeter requirements between like the lowest setting and the highest setting. Right now in the back, we're about halfway and in the front, we're all the way down. And I think this is perfect. Um, I don't know for whatever reason, the same way on the G8X cars, KW has kit in the rear can go like super low in the front. So you have to like max low to get it where most people would like it. Not sure why, not sure why the kit works that way, but um, it does. And it did the same thing with like the G8X cars. I would say just first impressions right now, the car rides pretty well. I did get to drive it back home um, and then back to the shop. And um, the one thing I did notice was uh, the car is, and anybody that's driven the pre-LCI F90 M5 competition, there's been a lot of complaints about how stiff the suspension is. I don't think it's that stiff, but I did come from a G8X car on 20s with 30 series tires. So that may be the reason why I don't think it's that stiff. But um, there was some, some complaints about how stiff the car was. And um, this, it just, it's not that the car is not stiff now, but it just rides. You can just feel like the ride is a lot better. Um, for whatever reason, it just feels, it feels really good. Um, KW has done a really good job with always doing a good job with their suspension and they've definitely done a good job with this kit. some nice little uh there's a nice little section up coming up here so i'll be able to take it through there and see how i can really push the car all right so we're going to take a turn up here okay okay i took that turn pretty aggressively and he held on um the car seems to be handling um, I feel the improvement. I don't think it's a placebo effect that it's like that, anything like that. I definitely feel the improvement. Again, special shout out to Keys Motorsports for getting this sent out to me. Um, and a special shout out again goes to your Empire team for getting this installed. And they also did my alignment as well. So whenever you do any kind of suspension mods, um, you want to make sure that uh, like going through it really quick. Anytime you do any kind of suspension mods, you just want to make sure that uh, you want to make sure that you do an alignment. Um, sometimes I like to drive the car for at least a day, then do an alignment. 
I don't like to do it on the same day, and it just kind of worked out that way this time. So everything worked out good.